in a mad dash, I went and finally got the rest of the kids' stocking stuffers. And now I need to put some groceries and stuff away, and then I'm gonna make dinner. And we've been really trying to go with plant-based and vegan dinners as much as possible. So I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that we got. So I don't know if you guys know this, but at Target, these baby bells, they come with six. For some reason, this particular one, this red one, the original, is only $2.79, which is like half the price that it normally is. So I always pick up two at a time when I see that price. And during the holidays, it's been that price. Super cute measuring cups, and there are four in here. Um, so I'm going to actually make a, it's called a samosa um, pie, which is kind of like, it reminds you of like a mincemeat pie. But to make it vegan, I'm going to use this vegan crumble. And then you basically put vegetables in there and saute them up. And then you put phyllo dough on top. These onions, seasons, and it's basically like, kind of reminds you of like a different type of um, pot pie. So that's good. Um, making cookies with the kids this weekend. Every weekend we do that holiday type thing. So I got, um, I'm making the sugar cookie um, stuff from scratch. So I got a, a Christmas tree cookie cutter, a, a snowman, this is so cute, I got the bow, and then a stocking, and oh, and of course the gingerbread man, you can't, you can't not have that guy, um, and then I got them these sprinkles, so we're going to do frosting and sprinkles, this comes with like cubes, stars, hearts, and then little bead things, which I thought the bead ones were really Christmas-like. Um, I got them each their own because they will fight. So two white icings, and it's kind of like stiff icing, and it's already in a piping bag. And I think this has green in it. Yeah, it does. So I got two of these. Um, so each kid will get, uh, two kids will get one of those. And then I got piping bags already filled with uh, chocolate fudge. So, and it has a star tip, so two of these. So they can alternate, but there goes that. I was out of maple syrup, which I'm finding out this is a really good plant-based staple to have because almost everything I make has a little bit of um, pure maple syrup. Uh, I had to get chili powder for tonight. And then these aren't um, vegan, but they are organic. And it's the white shells just for like probably this weekend because we're gonna also go see Christmas lights and I really don't have time to be um, speaking about lunch and then of this brand is like gluten-free vegan I couldn't find the gluten for, or the vegan one but I did find the pumpkin spice one and it's by birch benders then I got another one since I couldn't find the vegan one I got the gluten-free one which my husband will love um, and these are so good with pure maple syrup so I got that I think that's about it so yeah I um oh which is super cool this is like a really nice soft blue and then it's got the bronze and this is what it'll look like on the wall so i'll take a um video once it's all put up but making vegan samosa pot pie and i cannot wait i'm gonna cover this with some phyllo dough and put it in the oven here's the finished product you guys this is dinner so under here is that um mixture i made for the vegan pot pie and then this is actually phyllo dough that i just brushed with a little bit of um melted uh, vegan butter and so i'm just gonna scoop this out and serve it and it's gonna be amazing Hey y'all, so it's Saturday morning. I'm making pancakes. So this is the brand I was showing you guys earlier in the vlog. So pumpkin spice, and it's by Birch Benders, but it's gluten-free, it's um, all natural. So apparently this is really good stuff. So I'm making breakfast for the kiddos and I'll just get right into it. Basically you take this and add water. The water's already in here. Um, so I'm going to do this. It's really fine mill, so I know it's really good, um, as far as like how you digest it, which is what our family is looking for. Um, let's see. It's almost like rice flour. On the box, it actually says that these are like the, although it's fine and natural ingredients and gluten-free that it's some of the fluffiest pancakes you'll ever make. This is actually the pumpkin spice one, so I'm not going to add any vanilla or anything to this. But when you're in a rush and 
you can't make them from scratch, this is a winner. So just mixing it up really well. And then I just turned on my burner. I just put coconut oil all over this, but this is a pancake pan. So it actually has the circles already. They're like silver dollar circles or whatever they call them. Silver dollar pa pancakes. So this will just heat up. And this is the key to the perfect pancake. This is a silicone spatula and it's perfect for flipping pancakes. It's actually meant for pancakes. So I have that. And like any good mom, cheers to coffee. Kids love the pancakes. I'm gonna do a test of them. It's the first time I've actually tried them, but I just put some raspberries, blueberries, and then some pure maple syrup. So I'm gonna taste this while I'm on camera. Apparently they're the most fluffy pancakes and they're as good as homemade because they've basically used natural ingredients. And let's see. Boom! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Raspberries bomb on it too because it's kind of like tart with some coffee. Yeah. One, two, and I only made like small ones, but I added more fruit on mine because I wanted to give the kids the rest of them. Mm. Perfect. So now that this is just kind of like a typical Saturday morning, um, my husband's at work. So now that breakfast is out of the way, I am soaking the dishes for breakfast. And while I do that, I'm kind of uh, meal planning for the week. And this is the newest cookbook that I've added to my uh, cookbook edition called Minimalist Baker. And it's a plant-based and mostly gluten-free cookbook. So I'll scroll through here and see what I want to make and then I'll add to my grocery list if there's anything um, on my list um, that doesn't have ingredients in here. So. much cleaned up um, there's still some like surface stuff that I need to clean up but I actually need to do some laundry right now so I'm going to go wash bed sheets and comforters and then waiting for Layla's friend um, to come pick her up she can have a sleepover and so once she picks her up I'll actually get ready for the day I actually had my watch on today thinking that I was gonna be able to go run um, I just started running again and trying to run um, I'm trying to run six miles um, a week just to start um, and the problem is it's so windy right now that I don't think that's happening today um, I don't like taking my kids to the park and stuff when it's windy because for some reason when I do my kids get really really sick pretty fast with wind um, especially Layla because when she was really young she had respiratory issues so this is an in-the-house kind of day with the exception of the errand that I have to run to go to the store. I'm also waiting for a package and... What's wrong, Rocco? He's really mad. Oh no, tell Marley to keep her hands to herself. Um, he gets really mad and he's sick so he's not happy right now. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, my package, I had two separate packages totaling $200. They were delivered from on track. One package was missing, um, so I think that's kind of fishy. They were both time stamped from the same driver at the same time, and one of them's there. So generally, if somebody was gonna steal my packages that wasn't the driver, they would take both packages, wouldn't you think? And the package he stole was a more expensive one, so whatever. Um, so I'm waiting for the package that's coming today because it finishes off my office, and I need it, so. Um, once that comes and Layla gets picked up, then we'll be heading to Target, my favorite store.
So, Target was a bust. I'm in the market for a large floor mirror and a large plant for this decor I'm doing in my room. And they had floor mirrors, but they're brown, and I need a black one, and they're not big enough, and they have no plants. So we're looking for Home Depot or another Target. that is a night so thank you guys for watching please subscribe we're just heading to get some pizza and we are done for the night hope you guys had a good weekend i'll see y'all in the next one